Good morning everyone. How are you? I hope you are fine. Today we will review our lesson about frogs. Or do you know what can we call frogs? They are amphibians. This is a new word for you that you will learn today. Are you ready? Let's start. So, first of all, the frogs, where do they live? We said that they live in water and on land, like in these pictures. And because of this, the, uh, the frogs are special and different from other animals because they live in two places. So, because they live in water and on land, what do we call them? We call them amphibians. Amphibians. Do you know what does that mean? Amphi means two. So, because they live in two places, water and land. So, this is why we call frogs amphibians. Now, how does the frog move on land? As you can see here in this picture, they jump using their legs, of course. Now, how do they move in water? Like this frog, they swim using their webbed feet. Now, what are their webbed feet? Let's see. This is the webbed feet of the frogs. It is the fingers are connected to each other and this helps them to swim. So it is called webbed feet because it looks like web. Now what helps the frog to eat? They have this very long tongue. Like here, they use it to catch insects. And lastly, what covers the frog's body? We took it many times. Does the uh, frog have scales? No, look at the skin. It is smooth. So they have a smooth, moist skin. So this is our lesson for today, my dear students. We learned that we call frogs amphibians. This is the uh, animal group for the frogs. So they are different. Frogs are different from other animals. And frogs live in water and on land. That's why they are called what? Amphibians. Frogs have webbed feet to help them swim. Frogs have a smooth, moist skin. Frogs use their very long tongue to get food. This is our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed it, my dear students. Study well and good luck.